Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. We are going to, to discuss how to install some base trim and how to make those inside 45 corners a lot easier. All right folks, so installing your base trim is relatively easy. The one time it gets really hard is on your inside corners where you have a wall that meets another wall and then you need to have a 45 miter in that corner to make a match up. There's an easier way to do it and it looks just as good. So the first thing you do is take a regular piece, cut it square, put it right against the corner. So we have our piece here that's square cut, but it's right into the corner. Now the next piece is going to be different. We are going to bring this piece in here, but we are going to 45 it, 45 miter back. So we need to get a full length on our piece. So we're, gonna, we're going to take a full length measurement from the wall all the way over to where it stops. It looks like I'm at 43 and 5 eighths. So 43 and 5 eighths, I'm going to square cut this end where it butts into this trim. And on this end, I'm going to miter it back 45. All right, I'm at 43 and 5 eighths. My long to long. Three and five eighths mark. Move this to forty five degrees. And that is my longest mark, so I want to mark it back here. It's going to meet the wall. All right, now I have a miter, a 45 miter. Now I'm gonna cut this with a coping saw. So I have my miter here, my 45 miter. Now I'm gonna take this coping saw and I'm going to cut right along where the painted edge meets the wood, or I'm gonna cut along that profile just a tiny bit in here at the top. Another thing I like to do, folks, is I like to cut it back just a little bit so the farthest thing on this piece of trim is this edge where it'll meet the other piece. There we go. So now I've cut that miter and I've cut along the profile of that piece of trim. Okay, so now I have this profile cut in there and this should slide right in there. Cut it to length correctly, it'll fit right in here. And I have it, I've cut it just a little bit long. I'm just a little bit long so it won't fit in there. So now it's just an easy little square cut down here. And then my miter, it'll look like I've mitered that corner. Because I've put the coping saw along that edge, it fits nice and tight right in there. It looks like a 45 miter. 
case we've cut it just a little bit short. And that corner is going to go in there. Push this in. Get tight against there. So now we're good. Now we can nail it up. A little bonus tip for you folks. When you're doing the drywall mud, don't mud the very bottom screw. That way you know exactly where your studs are and you can nail into those studs putting on your trim. Hey folks, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for the view. Remember to work hard because hard work is its own reward. Thanks for watching.